Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Nefunoka Way. I like to do videos to do with natural hair care, fish farming, lifestyle, and anything in between. But today we're going to be talking about fish farming. I would like to introduce you to the youngest fish farmer that I know. The youngest fish farmer ever in this country so we do these videos in order to encourage everyone to start it's not like we are pros when we do these videos or we are that big we are still very small we are also learning but we believe in knowledge sharing as you learn so uh, some of these videos have encouraged many to start and one of the many people that have started because of these channels sharings is here with me so i'm going to be introducing him to you i'll be asking him a few questions that i feel some of you might want to know about him and about fish farming and about how to start so meet the youngest fish farmer in zambia ever i will let him introduce himself my name is uh, joseph Tembo. i'm from shikata i'm 19 years old 19 how many are you in the family we are four of us the oldest is 21 years old he's a student at copper belgium visit so how did you just start fish farming all right fish farming wasn't very something which i dreamt of it all started february this year 2021 when i was growing at youtube i came across the videos which she shot so you came across my video yeah i came across her videos and then i started following her and I got curious about the the money which you can make out of fish farming. Looking into it through all angles, I became passionate about it. And I thought maybe I should look for means on how I can start that. The way it started after bumping into it and then I started planning about it. It took me about two weeks or so. Then I informed my parents about it. They also never dreamt of anything to do with fish farming. And this knowledge about fish farming, the starting, everything, I learned about this in the videos which she showed, of course. And I was very much taken into it that uh, I even started doing it uh, on my own. I asked for some funds from my father and he helped me in the digging of the first pond. And okay. Just wait a minute. So you started digging the pond by yourself? Yes. With your brother? Not with my brother. By okay. that time, my brother was in school. Okay, so you started digging yourself? Yes. And then later on, you asked for some money from your dad to have other people to come and help you dig. Yes, yes. So the digging was done manually? Yes, it was done manually. Okay. Yes. Your source of water? The source of water is the stream. The land itself, it's a wetland. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's not mine, it's my father's. The land is grey, so I thought maybe by digging the pond or that land, the water wouldn't dry out. Mm -hmm. And it's really, that's what happens. Even at now, the water is still there. It doesn't yeah. dry out. It doesn't dry out. Yeah. So after digging, you made the outlet yourself. All that knowledge was from online research. Yes. So where did you get your fingerlings from? My fingerlings were purchased from the fisheries department huh? by okay. the system province. It's and where did you get the money to buy the fingerlings? When I was still in school, I used to do some business. I used to sell noodles. My plan was to start a poultry okay. just after school. Then during that time when I was in school, I made some money, 750. Mm -hmm. In that money, first I invested it into crop farming. Okay, what yes. crops were you doing? Maize. Following the videos, mm -hmm. I also learned how to stop and where I can get the fingerlings. So buying the fingerlings, I had to ask for a top up from my parents. Mm -hmm. Then it reached up to 1,500. I purchased 3,000 fingerlings from fisheries department. You stopped and now your fish is how old? The fish is five months. Are there any challenges that you face so far in the fish farming? Of course, challenges are there. I've encountered a loss of 573 fingerlings not really fish but fingerlings why do you think 
you lost those fingerlings. Okay, I didn't have any knowledge concerning the things which you must consider before stalking. Okay. Yes. The main reason why the fingerlings were dying is because at first I never fertilized the pond. I stopped without fertilizing the pond and the water was dirty. I never had much information about it. Okay. That's the reason why I lost the fingerlings. Yes. So, what made you get in touch with me? Okay. I really got inspired because okay. what really much inspired me, she was just a beginner. Mm -hmm one and then she was a woman in most cases you find that they are male who venture into things like that but okay? also shared the information about fish farming and she would like to have many zambians in, into fish farming not to cut you short but yes. just there so these videos are not meant for showing off or anything like that or whatever other reasons or to show that we are knowledgeable or anything like that but they are meant to share information so that we learn we are beginners we are still learning and we are not any big and with him i also got inspired because uh, when i was communicating with him in the beginning i remember i was even calling him sir so sir what you do is this 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 is but eventually he even corrected me and said don't call me sir i'm just a young boy so i was like so how old are you then he said no i'm just a school leaver and blah blah, blah. the rest is history i encouraged him to come for training at uh, dr kachaka's uh, breathing fish farm so he got his training and uh, here we are now now and I'm featuring him on this video so the reason for featuring him here is to encourage other youth that can go into it I know it's not realistic to ask a youth in Lusaka or any other person to venture into it where there is a challenge of water and uh, pond liners when you don't have enough resources but there can be situations where you already have water and maybe you have clay soil like he does so the costs that we incur on pond liners and uh, Zesco lack of water that we have he doesn't have those challenges but what he has is the courage for him to just start digging and start doing it. He's only 19. What more can he do? At 19, I don't think I ever thought like he is thinking. This is an inspiration to all the youth out there. I would encourage the youth, including women, to also go into it and make yourselves some money or get busy as you await your other thing. And by the way, he's a very intelligent young man. He has seven points. He only finished grade 12 last year. He has seven points. He has not yet gone into university. So that tells you a lot he's not scared to get his hands dirty so having said more about him i'll ask him the following questions so what has the training done to you how i how is it going to make your fish farm different previously when i was starting off yes of course i got some information concerning the steps you need to take into fish farming but not all was shared in those videos as i've already stated before i lost five 573 fingerlings that was because of lack of knowledge about fertilization. After the training, now I know that eh, before you even stop your fingerlings, there are things you need to consider. That includes fertilization of the pond, how you construct the pond, and many more. So I would encourage you to also take the training because it's been helpful to me. I've learned the mistakes which I was doing previously, and now I feel more courageous to take this to another stage. So to anybody who is watching these videos, please, fish farming, it's a serious thing. It's not something you should uh, take as a joke. If you have a water reliant, it is time to utilize it. Don't waste it. In Zambia, we are not poor. We are rich of many resources. Take advantage of anything which you have in your hands. Please, you can go for a training also. As I've already said that I had a lot of challenges, especially when the fish was dying. I go to this farmer, he say this, this, this. Those were not the actual reasons why the fingerlings were dying. It was because even them, they never went for training. But now, as I'll be going this side, it will be a different game. Because now I've learned how to construct a better pond, which you can even grow your fish to 450 
grams again the environment matters there are a lot of factors which can lead you into poor growth of fish which can even fail you to continue with your business so if you take that training you learn a lot sometimes you would think that maybe just because we're already fish farming you have a knowledge about fish farming no go for a training there is much to learn about fish farming and how we can improve zambia through fish farming then as she has already stated it doesn't matter what stage you are it doesn't matter the status whether you're poor or what use what you have if you have a water land dig the pond the pond which i dug first it was a 15 by 10 pond mm -hmm. yes and it costed me 1500 we dug it within two weeks time so if manpower is small then take time so if there's no one to help maybe you talk of your parents or maybe you don't have parents or anyone to help you have what takes you have your hands you are blessed with everything with that life and you have that energy dig for yourself or maybe ask your friends to help you digging after harvest then you repay them you mentioned your first pond meaning you have a second pond how big is the second pond the second pond it's a 20 by 25 pond that's huge so when are you planning to stop it is there water in it yes water is in there even if i don't have yet the the money to to stock i've also learned fish usually dies in turbid water i had left the water in that pond just to ensure that the water becomes clean and clear for the fish when i stop it becomes clear for the fish to eat from your first pond you've learned that uh, how many weeks do you need after digging for you to stop from my observation and by the way the ponds that he's talking about are ethan ponds where you don't put the plastic it's clay it took three weeks for the water to settle the muddy water was great and it took about three weeks for it to settle to become clear and uh, even the fish it's it stopped there after the water became clean yes okay so the fingerlings were they sex reversed or they are mixed they are mixed so do you have a place in Chipata where to buy quality fingerlings? There's no any hatchery in Chipata. I've never heard of one. Uh, I would say in Eastern province, not in Chipata only. Because I've asked my friends from Ndazi, Chama, they were saying that yeah, they don't produce fingerlings. So it's only fisheries. Most of them, they come to the site and then purchase the fingerlings. Okay. Yeah. So if someone wants to help you, which way would you want them to help? Or maybe yeah. government, which way would you want to be helped? In the first place, as I've already said, that land isn't in my position, it's my father's. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I would love to get my own water land mm -hmm. and then dig my own infant pond, stop them. And then after stocking, then I expand my business and increase in terms of security and everything by other instruments used to, to manage the pond, such as the pH meter, oxy meter miner. As it is now, I don't have all those, okay. including the very important thing which every fish farmer is supposed to have, a pH meter and the weighing scale. Okay. I don't have those. Okay. So since you don't have a weighing scale, have you ever weighed your fish? Do you do something? I'm uh, not really. I've only just been observing the fish, okay. the size, since the time I picked the fingerlings until now. I've never so you weighed. just use estimations to buy yeah. fish? Yes. So when do you hope to harvest? I was planning this coming November. Okay. Yes. So you should let me know when you are harvesting so that I can test your fish from an ethan pond. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you intending to apply for any funding? Yes, I'm already into it, but I'm quite discouraged because mm -hmm. there are some policies which uh, are eliminating me from funding. So what are yes. those? Age. Oh, like you're too young to access yes. funding yes. and the land is not yours. Yes. So 19 years old, no land, and you can't access any form of financing. Hmm. Yes. But you are doing it. So now, what are your future plans aside from the fish farming? You've got seven points and yes. congratulations. Seven points is not a job. Thank what you. do you want to study in university? Computer engineering. I've seen in Zambia, we've not yet grown to that level where we can make our own electronic gadgets. So I was thinking when I do that course, I will make my own company 
and then employ more Zambians to make Zambia a better place for everybody. What do you feed your fish? I feed my fish uh, the purchased feed. So where do you get the money to buy the feed? I you mentioned of investing money into crop farming. I sold my maize, then my brother at Copper Belt University. He also helps. No wonder I say this business is not only me who is managing it, but also him. So your brother, who is a student on bursary, yes. manages to spare some yes. for buying feed. Yes. Wow, that's so, so encouraging. There you have it. You don't have to have millions or thousands of dollars or quachas for you to start your fish farming. All it takes is determination and what you have around you. So you see these young people, they are really encouraging us. I was really touched by his story and I'm really happy to finally meet him. It's just a pity that he's young, he does not qualify for most of the financial assistance because he also doesn't have uh, assets. So I really don't know how our country can help such youths like him. For everyone out there who's watching this video and you feel you can help, it doesn't have to be financial help, it can be material, things or just advice on how the young people can manage to access some of the resources so let us know in the comments down below if there are any financial sources where young people without assets can go to access funding to finance their businesses personally i'm encouraged and um, we wish you well your brother well your parents must be proud of you here yeah? i'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> Since this video delayed to come out, I decided to follow up the young man and check on the progress. I found that he managed to harvest his fish and sold. He has made some good progress and improvements in his uh, fish farming business. And by the way, with his new acquired knowledge, he has started constructing ponds for other people. So basically, he is now a contractor. I'm so excited for him, for everyone in Eastern Province, in Chipata, Katete, all those people that are asking me on specifications for things and whatnot. You have a consultant right there. So the contacts are on the screen above and in the description down below. So there you have it. That's how he started his fish farming. I hope you find that video helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to follow up on his experiences on the harvest, if he had any challenges or not. Thank you for watching and bye. See you in the next video.